Good evening. Our big story tonight, a bill introduced in the Arizona legislature would ban some transgender athletes from competing against students of the gender that they identify with. The bill's sponsor claims it's about protecting women's sports. Team 12's William Pitts has more on what the bill would do and whether it's really addressing a problem in Arizona. This bill would ban female transgender athletes from competing in women's sports, but critics say it's a solution in search of a problem. It's one of several similar bills introduced across the country. The bill at the Arizona legislature is called the Save Women's Sports Act. Supporters point to cases like Terry Miller and Andrea Yearwood, two female transgender athletes in Connecticut who compete in track and field. You don't want to run with the boys and not the girls, so what are we? Are we not human like everybody else? Other female athletes filed a federal complaint against the state, saying it's unfair to have to compete against transgendered athletes. It is very frustrating for us because no matter how hard we try and how hard we train, they will beat us no matter what. Right now, the Arizona Interscholastic Association has a policy on transgender athletes. The athlete has to notify the AIA, then get a letter from their school, parents, and a doctor. Then they have to be approved by two committees. There are rules and regulations you can put in place. Um, this really is, is creating, I think, more issues um, than, than it's going to solve. Wallace Hudson is with the LGBTQ group 1 in 10. He says transitioning doesn't necessarily give anyone an advantage. You can't predict how someone is going to transition. So um, just because someone identifies as transmasculine does not mean that they're going to get on testosterone. The AIA doesn't track how many transgender athletes it has, but it's only been allowing them to compete since 2014. It's not a whole lot of people, um, and I think that for as small as the number of trans athletes as there are, um, there's an even smaller number of people who are going to take advantage. Representative Nancy Bartow sponsored the bill and posted this on Facebook. Women's opportunities for which they've fought hard for the last 50 years are being destroyed because the playing field they fought to level is now uneven again. Even an average male can crush an elite female athlete. It's unfair and it's unsafe. William Pitts, 12 News. Okay, well, thank